I'm Steve McIntosh. And I'm Connie McIntosh, and we'll be touring District 1 today. We're gonna, you're going to meet some of our neighbors, and District 1 is the largest of the six districts. It's all the northern part of the city. It runs from Lover's Key in the west all the way out to the Everglades in the east. We're here in Spring Creek Estates and over by the Fish Street. This is sort of the, the midwestern portion of District 1, and this is Mike Castine. Mike is a long-term neighbor here and a, a good representative of the neighborhood. Mike, what do you think about the city in your neighborhood? Well, you know, we really like the area. Karen and I moved here in 1999, and fortunately, the Hyatt was built after we moved here, and Karen works there now, so it's only like two miles away from the house, so, I mean, it's real convenient for her. Um, we like Bonita itself because it's kind of in the middle of, you know, going up to Fort Myers to do things, going down to Naples to do things, so it's kind of in between, you know. You're not really going too far out of the way. The thing about this particular area is that all the streets down here are dead-end streets, mm -hmm. okay? So you don't get a lot of through traffic. They dead so end to the bay. And dead end to the bay or to a canal or just like ours, a cul-de-sac. Uh, but every street's a dead-end street, so you don't get through traffic. So it's a lot quieter, a lot more peaceful and yeah. things like that. And, and we enjoy, you know, this because, you know, the kind of private and you've got a lot of uh, wildlife, you got all the different birds that come in and we have several different types of fish in the lake and my grandkids when they come down they just love to fish. They'll go out there and uh, all I'm doing is baiting the hook and taking it off. Baiting the hook. <laughs> of course we throw them back. We don't, oh, sure. we don't keep them. Catch and release. Catch and release. And, uh, now we, several people here have their, their homes are on canals where they can go from the canal out to the bay. Correct. Another really great benefit for this, this area. Right, down in this area itself in the fish streets. Um, I'd say most of the homes are yeah. on a canal, uh, so they can go out to Estero Bay and on out to the Gulf. Good. So they have access. Unfortunately, the lake, it's landlocked, so we can't get out there <laughs> from, the, from the backyard here, but across the street we could. Good. I can put the kayak in out there and go you know, through the uh, creeks and things yep. of that nature. Well, Mike, you've been a great neighborhood representative for us, and we certainly appreciate the way you keep the neighborhood up uh, and the quality of life that you bring here. So thank you so much for being part of our city. Well, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Come in. Steve, how are you, Councilman? Good to see you. Good to see you. Come on down here and meet a couple friends. This is a Councilman Ferrer, my predecessor to the City Council. Good morning. A mentor, my mentor and regular advisor. This is Vince Spinello. Vince is the past president of Spring Creek Village, and they're going to talk a little bit about their neighborhood. Ben, uh, why, don't we, why don't we tell the public what we really have here, the good things about Spring Creek Village. Well, our location is really great. We have access to the Gulf here. We have canals that run through the park here, and uh, quite a few boaters, boats, a lot of fishing here. Uh, we're like a small town, I think. Uh, everybody gets involved in things and help each other if someone's sick or something. Someone's always there to help. Uh, we have quite a bit of entertainment. We used to hire a lot of our entertainment bands and things, and, and we find we have quite a few talented musicians here. And uh, I think the biggest thing is uh, we take care of our elderly shut-ins. Someone's always checking on them. Uh, when we have parties and things, they are brought food and whatever we can, we do. Councilman, uh, tell me, uh, how, how did you decide on Spring Creek Village for your home? Well, what impressed me is uh, what Vin just said is that we have water access. Half the homes in here have their own canals and docks. Uh, and there's a common dock associated with, the, with this. So. And we have a big uh, fishing and kind of an enthusiastic crowd for that. 
But we also have a full range of uh, activity at the clubhouse, like many of the uh, uh, closed communities. We're a 55 and over community, and uh, we own the land. And one of the benefits of, of owning the land is we can predetermine our own destiny, which we did. We took out a uh, million dollar loan, we, we purchased uh, the entire common area from the owners. And uh, now we own the whole thing, and we're responsible for running the whole thing. So one of the things we Council, like that. One of the things that Councilman Ferrer always did when he was on City Council was protect our waterways and our environment. And one of the things that the, the citizens, residents here decided to do was to tear out their uh, septic systems and their wells and go with uh, Bonita Springs Utilities, which, right. which protects uh, the environment. So how did we come to that uh, decision? Well, we were losing water. Uh, uh, BSU, Bonita Springs Utilities, which I think is a top-notch organization, uh, informed us that we were losing water. We were paying for water we never even used. So uh, we got together, we had meetings, multiple meetings, including uh, members of the City Council, and uh, decided that uh, we should uh, replenish all the pipes. And in order to do that, we had to tear up all the streets. So we assessed ourselves, for paving the streets. We have a, an assessment uh, through Benita Springs Utilities, and uh, we pay uh, extra for uh, the work that was done putting in all new sewer pipes and all new water pipes. So now we have city water, and we have an up-to-date shared uh, uh, sewer system with Pelican Landing, which I thought was a pretty good uh, planning item years ago when they developed this area. So we're in good shape, Great. and and I'm happy to report that very soon we'll be debt-free. Oh, mm. so we're one of the few communities, probably uh, in uh, in Southwest Florida, that we can brag about and say that we're debt-free because we're. We are an austere people. We, we don't spend money we don't need, and we don't have a lot of extraneous amenities other than the things that people uh, would want to spend money on. Great. So, Well, uh, Vinny and uh, Richard, thank you so much for taking your time today. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you, Councilman. You're, you're, a proud a part of, you're a proud part of our city. Thank you. Thank you very much. Pelican Landing. We're standing right beside the Spring Spring Creek and the canoe launch, the kayak launch. This is John Duder. John is the president of the, of the Pelican Landing Homeowners Association Board, and Marie Martell is the executive director of the Pelican Landing Homeowners Association. John, tell us a little bit about Pelican Landing. Well, thank you, Steve. Uh, Pelican Landing is a fine community of around 3,000 homes wow. right on the coast of Estero Bay here in Bonita Springs. Uh, about half of our people live here year-round, the other half uh, come in for the season. Uh, right now, in January, as we're dressed for the cold, uh, we have a full, full house. We have almost all residents in. Our amenities are running at full speed, and our residents seem very happy with what we're doing for them well, uh, during this uh, winter season this year. Well, wonderful, and part of the reason why our residents will be happy is because of Marie and her staff. Marie, tell us a little bit about Pelican Landing Homeowner Association. Well, Pelican Landing's Homeowner Association is the master association for the mm -hmm. community, mm -hmm. and we basically oversee all the amenities which are included in their, their annual assessments. We have the beach park, the private beach park with the boat shuttle, in the bus shuttle. We have a sailing amenity, canoe kayak, which we're at right now. We have a beautiful tennis facility, and right. one of the main things wonderful about that is that's included in your assessment. There are Absolutely. no extra fees. We also have the community center, which has a fitness facility and events with an activities director that keeps things hopping all year round. Wonderful. And I know our residents come in all the time to ask you questions and get passes for parking and so on. Yes, they And do. it's a wonderful place to live. And thank you, John, for joining us today. Steve, you're Marie, very it's welcome. always a pleasure. pleasure. Always a pleasure. Thank you.
Donna Marie mentioned, this is Spring Creek. This is a sailing club for Pelican Landing. It's free to the homeowners and residents with kayaks and canoes. Very proud of this. It's a wonderful place to live. We're here at uh, Leisure Time Park. It's a great little f neighborhood, and this is Mr. Bob and Serpy and Mrs. Paula and Serpy. Sarge is a retired Army sergeant, one of my best friends, and has been 11 years on the zoning board for the city of Benita. Thank you so much for your service. Tell You're us a little welcome. about your neighborhood. Well, we moved in here uh, in June. We love the park. That's why we decided to settle in here. It's, it's just the people are great, nice atmosphere, a very, very clean park. You know, it's just a lovely place to, to live. Yeah. And Paula, uh, why in the world? No, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the neighborhood and what you do. And um, Mostly I sit and I watch the pond. That's but a, I call that my swimming pool. That's a beautiful <laughs> hobby. <laughs> and, uh, no, I really like it here. It's uh, very clean, very well lit up, which we, we really like. Uh, we're not afraid. The neighbors are great. Good. It's just, Good. just a great neighborhood. We're very happy here. Yeah. Well, we couldn't have the quality of life we have in the city without volunteers like uh, Bob. He's, uh, he's, the, he's the one thing that keeps us alive, and the zoning board is, is critical to us being the quality, sure having the quality of life we want. Sure is. And Venita is a beautiful city to live in. Well, Sarge, thank yeah. you so much for joining us today. Oh, we quite welcome. Appreciate My pleasure. Thank great you. to see you. Great to see you. Thank you very much. Hey, now we're at uh, Pelican's Nest. This is the internal community Pelican Landing uh, golf course. And this is David Gillespie, a good friend of mine and the general manager. David has responsibility for the entire facility, uh, grounds, dining, golf, and uh, he's an experienced golf professional in management. So, David, tell us what, what's going on at Pelican Lane. Wow, that was wonderful. Pelican Thank Nest. you. That's, uh, uh, Pelican's Nest, uh, 36 holes uh, in sunny southwest Florida, which uh, what could be nicer? Uh, we have uh, just under 500 members. and. Uh, um, they enjoy golf. Some of them play seven, eight days a week if uh, they could. And uh, we have a fabulous clubhouse, dining, and uh, we're located in the Pelican Landing community. Good. We're out here on the practice green. Uh, tell me a little bit about where we are and how this all works. Well, we're, this is uh, behind us here you'll, is uh, probably within a half a mile is Estero Bay and uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. So we've got uh, three of our finishing holes on uh, both our courses. Finish right here at the clubhouse, uh, they're right here on the water. In fact, a couple of them you have to hit over the water, which uh, always proves an interesting day. And for, I haven't uh, been able to do all No, no, it's, uh, I'd like to have the ball concession for uh, <laughs> those that have uh, dropped one into Westero Bay. <laughs> they're all floating out in the Gulf, I'm sure, right now. But uh, uh, Well, David, thank you for taking us on a tour today. I'm hey, it's nice to have you with us. Thanks for being here, and uh, come back and see us anytime. Sure everyone. will. You know, we really can't talk about District 1 without including Lover's Key. It's a part of the crown jewels of the city of Benita Springs. So let me take you out there and show you around.
Here we are at Citrus Park. This is one of our biggest neighborhoods in District 1. And this is Tamara Swan. She's the president of the Citrus Park Association, Homeowner Association. T tell us a little bit about Citrus Park. Well, Steve, Citrus Park is quite unique. Uh, in season, in height of season, we have about 3,500 wow. people here. Uh, what makes our community so neat, unique is we have many, many activities. Uh, Softball is a big event here. Yes, it is. Um, we have tennis, shuffleboard. Um, it's a very active community. Tell me where we are right now. Right now we are in our rec hall. We have a little snack bar inside, mm -hmm. so it's kind of a meeting ground. Mm -hmm. I see people playing cards and dominoes. and. Yes, that pretty much takes the place uh, on a daily basis. Good, good. And how many acres do you have on the property? It's about uh, 1,200 acres. 1,200, very big. Yes, very my great uncle uh, stumbled upon this place in 1974. Mm -hmm. And in 1978, the first RVers uh, came here to uh, pick oranges. Oh, really? Yes, and uh, over time they they stayed. <laughs> Citrus Park. Citrus Park, yes. Yeah, very nice. Tomorrow, one of the interesting things about Citrus Park, I think, is the variety of homes you have here. Tell us a little bit about that variety. Well, we have uh, three main sections. Uh, the mobile home and resort section, which is a 55 or older. Mm -hmm. And then we have 968 uh, RV sites wow. that are booked uh, seasonally, normally from November 1st to May 1st. And then the snowbirds go back home. Well, Tamara, thank you so much for joining us yes, today. And we you. certainly appreciate all the things that Citrus Park does for this city. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now we're at the Benita Springs Golf and Country Club, and this is a, my good friend, Hank Hoxtaylor. Hank? Hi, Steve. And before Hank starts telling a little bit about his neighborhood, let me mention to you that Hank, in 1996, was Benita Springs Citizen of the Year. Hank, it's a pleasure, and I am honored to know you as a friend as well as a neighbor. Tell us a little bit about your neighborhood. Woodbridge is a, a neighborhood here at Benita Golf and Country Club. Um, it's been here now uh, 16 years. Uh, 62 lots are involved in the... Uh, uh, environment here and there's I believe 12 lots yet to be built on. Now were you par part of the development here? Did you build some of these homes? Sell the yes, lots? Uh, mm -hmm. the first five homes uh, I built uh, along with uh, a construction company and then uh, another builder took over. Good, good. Um, it's a very neat neighborhood. Uh, you've been here a long time. Is there Anything you wanted to say about the city and uh, the, how this fits in with the city and so on? Well, since I was involved in the charter committee, um, That's right. yeah. I'm, I'm delighted to see the city uh, come into being. I'm very happy with the tax structure as it is now. I'm glad that the city council is looking at uh, improving some of the streets that have not been paid. I hope that somewhere along the line we can have a hospital. Absolutely. I hope that we can uh, get the library enlarged and, and under better control. Good, good. Well, Those Hank, are some of my concerns. Well, <laughs> Hank, I'm sorry Joanne was here today to make us both look a little better, but... Well, she would have. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you don't look good, buddy. <laughs> well, listen, thanks so much for joining us today. We certainly appreciate it. Thank Hank, you. Hank, thank you. Hi, now we're going to talk a little bit about San Carlos Estates. San Carlos Estates is almost in the middle of District 1, and this is John Nickerson. He's the president of the San Carlos Estates Homeowners Association. John, tell us a little bit about San Carlos Estates. Uh, San Carlos Estates is unique in uh, your area because each lot in there is an acre and a quarter. Most of them are wooded lots, and uh, most people leave those trees on there. Uh, a lot of the owners in that area are small business people, that have maintained uh, the trucks and equipment back in there. You can't come back in there to do business, but you can store things back in there. So it's a great place for raising kids, for instance. Oh, There's sure. There's a lot of families back there. Absolutely. It's a lot of working class people back there. We're only 10 minutes from uh, Coconut Point. Perfect. So you know where we are. We're off of Old 41. Uh, basically, I've been president about five, six years now. Wow. Not too much trouble. We 
dog problems like they have everywhere, you know, so. Well, tell me, how many homes are in San Carlos Estates? There's about 450 homes. It's There's big. about 900 lots in there. Uh -huh. And, uh, of course, the lots went up substantially during that real estate boom. Yep. And they're back down to reasonable now. Good. Well, we'd certainly like to have more people. But one of the things that's most impressive about San Carlos Estates as a neighborhood, they were all gravel roads, private roads, and John and the Homeowners Association were able to convince all the homeowners to create a special taxing unit and now all the roads are paved and, and beautiful. It was the water board actually that did it. I sat on that water board. They had a taxing facility. We had a meeting. We did have the police at the meeting. It was <laughs> quite a uh, disturbance because when you're going to tax people, there's lots of strong opinions and we did lose some people, but uh, it's been a world of difference. In fact, we've been getting some pretty upscale looking homes in through there. And, uh, Crime is minimal yep. in the neighborhood, and it's convenient to everything. So we're quite happy with uh, Benita Springs and living here. And Great. With our council, too. <laughs> John, thank you for the day, and thank you for that nice tip. <laughs>